So I just got called ungrateful for the gifts that I received on my birthday. I'm going to show you guys what I got, and you comment below and tell me, um, tell me if I'm wrong, okay? All right, and... Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise. I don't know who this person is. I don't care. But if you got to get on TikTok to complain about gifts, that's a problem. That's a problem. If you don't like what it is that you got, then I guess next year you should make sure you got some new friends so that you don't have to worry about it. But why is it that you're so concerned with what you got? Are you two? Are you five are you nine we are adults online complaining about the fact that they didn't get what they wanted for their birthday child you can't make this ish up and this is why i'm gonna stop this i, I want to do this video to show y'all if you have a good heart you a giving person and you giving don't don't do that to the wrong people because this is what you get in return i got this card right it got nothing in it hold on it got nothing in it for my sister, whatever. A card, nothing in it, right? How disrespectful can you be? First of all, listen, y'all. Listen, 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 listen. Black people, open up a card business. I'm telling you. There's always an occasion to buy a card. Every day, there's like ice cream day, pizza day. You could make cards for all that bull crap. Anyway, my bad. I digress. So she's just going to take that card, just toss it on the floor. It's from my sister. Like, child, people could have just not thought about you at all. You are too old to be doing this. I'm assuming she's too old. I'm assuming this person, and I don't know who this is, and I can't see her, but from listening to her, it sounds like she's from NYC. But she also sounds like she at least 25, 28, and going to be complaining like she's nine that she didn't get nothing for her birthday. Child... And I got napkins. I can't, I, I'm not even joking with y'all. Let me try to open it. I'm trying to open it with one hand, hold on. Try to open it with one hand because, you know, we can't miss a second of this because we got to make sure we got the camera steady, child. Get a dag on tripod then, girl. Yeah, I got napkins. I got napkins. And then I got this oil dispenser. Mind you, when it comes to the people that I love, when I don't care if it's Christmas, birthday, I don't even just get one gift. I get multiple gifts. I done gave people a thousand dollars, a wig, clothes. I done get, I done all year, all, all year long. Like if I go out to eat and you say you don't got it, girl, I'm paying for it. I, that's the type of person I am. Like, what well, honestly sounds like the type of person that you are is that you front and flex them for others. And then you think that they're supposed to do the same thing for you. Now, I do believe that this person is a rapper because God knows who isn't one. I'm not one, though, y'all. It's not me. I'm not a rapper. But it seems like every daggone a black female out here is a rapper. Lord. So, okay, child. So you might have money to be given wig. Child, she said give a wig. <laughs> she, I've given $1,000. I've given wigs. I've taken people out. I've given people... Child, you then you're not doing it out of the kindness of your heart if you're sitting up here complaining about it. So if you're doing something because you expect something in return, that's the first daggone problem. You're doing it for selfish reasons. People don't have to be grateful to you and bow down to you, but this is another one that that's exactly what they want. They expect people... You're probably doing this also for people that don't have what you have because you a rapper. Are they rappers? Are they famous people? Do they have money like you do? Like, what do you expect from people that may not have it? This is, you're the ungrateful person. You're the ungrateful person. Y'all, if you're not giving something just because you're giving it out of the kindness of your heart, then don't do it. Because when you're expecting something in return, that's when you're going to get hurt. That's when you're going to get mad. That's when your feelings going to get hurt. Everybody is not like you. Stop expecting other people to be the same as you. Now, mind you, I don't know what an oil dispenser is, child, but it looked like a baby bottle or something that you sprayed for a breeze out of. They gave you something. They gave you a card. They probably posted on your social media or there shouting you out. But no, nah, that's not good enough. You looking for a return on investment. You looking for a return on investment and invest in the daggone stock market and stock market and stop thinking that you're going to sit up here and get something back from people. You're not giving in the right way. 
It's unacceptable on your part. You are an ungrateful person. Stop looking for stuff back. People are going to do what they're going to do out of the kindness of their heart based off of what they can do. And if you see that people aren't what you thought that they were, then get some new people, child. Don't come online and embarrass people. You're going to sit up here and call out your sister like that. Come on now. That's not acceptable. Y'all are some ungrateful biatches. Don't ever wonder why. These are the specific reasons why. Because you can't keep nothing to yourself. You selfish. You always looking for, for something from somebody. Always looking for something from someone else. Any gratefulness here? Shouldn't you be thankful for the fact that you can do things that you just spoke about that you've done for people? If you've done it for the wrong people, then know that you don't need to do it anymore. How many of us have allowed people to borrow money and they never gave it back? So if they ever came back to you, would you let them borrow it again? If you got some common damn sense, then you know not. So sis, if you got around the people that can't give you what it is that you're looking for, then find some new daggone people. Good luck with finding another sister though. This is ridiculous. You sound like you're about 12 damn years old, stomping your feet on the ground mad because you didn't get the Barbie that you wanted. Like, if I got money, it's like everybody around me got money. Everybody eats. Nobody could ever say I'm not like this, right? And um, I also got a $100 Zelle, and I got a Hennessy bottle, okay? The Hennessy bottle, I can understand. I got a gallon of Hennessy, like, I understand, whatever. Um, the $100... I, I don't even get that because, like I said, I'm the type of person, I'm going to give you $700,000. I'm not just saying it. That's what I do. That's just my heart. I'm giving you Uggs. Whatever you want for your birthday, I'm going to get for you. The fact that I'm, I got gaslighted for being on great, I'm just shaking right now because I'm so mad. I had two people, I'm not even going to say who it is, literally gaslighted me and told me I'm ungrateful for the napkins. Like, I, I, I have to, I put this napkin in their face, and I'm like, would you want this for your birthday? Napkins. Would you want this? Yeah, what's wrong with it? It's the thought that fucking counts. That's what. Then you know what you're dealing with and who you're dealing with. You are ungrateful. Let's not get it twisted. They didn't have to, like, probably get them napkins, because, child, that looked like something that you, you just have in your purse for just in case you need a, a, a napkin for whatever reason, right? But. You doing something with it, with the, with the expectation that they're going to do the same thing for you. That's crazy. It's very childish. If you don't like it, if you don't like it, then I would suggest you don't like what it is and how it was and how it went down. Then you know not to do all that crap that you said that you've been doing for those people. How about that? Did you have to come onto social media and air them out like that though? Cause you do look ungrateful. I'm sorry. You do. And people that's listening, you need to be aware of people like this. They doing stuff for you because they want something in return. Typically, it's a man. Listen, I'm not trying to come at men, but I'm just saying, ladies, women, females. They doing this, they doing that. They want something in return. She's doing the same daggone thing. Obviously, she wants something different than typical, what a typical man is going to want, but she wants the same thing back in return. She ain't even say if these people are on the same type of time that she is. The same type of um, uh, monetary, uh, you know, plane that she's on. But she definitely got support out here in the um, the comments. Bunch of women. Nah, it's not right. Nah, it's not right. Nah, 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 it's not right. That ain't right. That ain't right. Nah, nah, nah. But hey, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. You, you not, you're not giving with a kind heart. You're giving with an expectation. So here you go. Now you know. And instead of airing people out, all you got to do is stop what you're doing. Because that's not the point anyway. At the end of the day, you need to know who it is that's going to be there for you when you need them. Not what they're going to get you on your birthday as much as what you got them for whatever the reasons were. If you need someone to take care of you because you was sick and no one else could, are they going to be there for you? God forbid if you get like a serious illness and you need someone, are they going to be there for you? Those are the things that daggone matter. But they told me it's a thought that counts. But there's no thought into this shit. This is just being fucking cheap, bro. This is being cheap. And it's not like they don't got it. I know you fucking got it. You walking around with designer on. I know you got it. This is so disrespectful. 
So now she's going around pocket watching. She talking about what she got, and now she over here pocket watching. What you got? I know you got it. You know you got it. Y'all, let me tell you something. I don't give a damn what it is that you see. Half of the time, most of the people ain't got it. Anybody that's online flexing, they ain't got it. Anybody that's got something, it's not in... It's not in those nails that she got on that watch that ring. I see that stuff she got on. It's not necessarily in things. Not saying that you can't have stuff because you absolutely can. You work hard. You do your thing. Do it. But it's about investments. Where's your money invested? Where can you draw back onto something? Because God forbid if something happens, she can't necessarily take that watch or that ring in and get enough based off of what she paid for it in order to take care of what she needs to take care of. Don't nobody want to talk about that stuff. We just want to sit up here and blame, shame, and complain. These people that gave her these gifts probably said, shit, my money is invested. I'm just assuming I don't know. Special for me, but I'm happy that this, this happened. You, I will never, ever buy anybody gifts or anything at all in life unless I get the same energy in return. Because this is bullshit. I don't care who thinks I'm ungrateful. This is ridiculous. Like, I would never do this for nobody. So, um, yeah, like, I really had the worst fucking birthday, too. Like, it's... You're going to let your birthday be bad based off of what other people did. That's the other thing. Y'all too busy worrying about other people, what they think, what they do, how they move. And you, it's the social media stuff. It's the social media stuff. You don't need to be upset on your birthday based off of somebody else. That's crazy. You decide what you're going to do for you. What you What's going to make you happy on your birthday? Schedule a damn vacation. And then that stuff is what it is. And then you on your daggone vacation. Go out with your husband. Go out with your man. You got one of those? Either one of those? You should be hanging out with that person. I'm assuming not since she over here mad about this. She mad about this. Because I'm telling you, if she had a daggone man, she definitely would have been airing his ass out. Definitely if she had a husband. Or she would have been bragging about what they got her. So she ain't got no man. That's half of the problem right here too. But again, maybe I'm wrong. I'm just saying, child, this is crazy. Y'all need to stop worrying about what other people think, what other people have. Focus on yourself. Make your investments where they need to be made. Save your money where it needs to be saved. Grow your daggone wealth for yourself. Stop giving to all these daggone people any daggone way, expecting stuff in return. Just because you got it don't mean that you got to give it all. You still could give out $25 gifts. It's all good in the hood. Hell, you could even go to 100 You ain't got to be giving thousands. You ain't got to be buying Uggs. You ain't got to be taking people on vacation. You're doing all this over-the-top stuff for no reason except to flex and for expecting something in return. That's ridiculous. That's how people go broke. Shout out to MC Hammer. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.